Hi, my name is Ludas Wutkus, and imagine this scenario. Someone searches for something that's around your topic, and he finds your website on Google on the first page results. He clicks on your website, he comes to your website, and he reads your article that you have written. He comes to the end, and he wants to discover more about this topic. But there is nothing to click, only a sign up button, uh, maybe to your email list, but he is not uh, yet convinced uh, that you're the real deal, that you have the right information. So he is not really wanting to sign up to your email list. So he clicks the back button and he start and he continues his, his Google search. Now you don't want that to happen. And to make that scenario less likely to happen, what you need to have on your blog is a few plugins. The first plugin is to have related topics appear uh, below uh, your every single blog post. What this does, it's, it lets you to uh, show related topics to people that land on a specific uh, blog post. So when they uh, when they finish reading, and they want more information about that topic, they can choose from other articles that you have written, so they keep uh, browsing your website. And once they have read a lot, they might then uh, you basically, uh, when someone clicks to another article, you're increasing your chances of getting an opt-in lead. There are a lot of plugins, uh, if you're using WordPress then just do a quick search of related, uh, related blog posts and you will get some good, uh, s some good plugins that you can install. Of course there are uh, free ones, so don't worry there. A next plugin that I highly recommend you to install is uh, Popular Blog Posts. Uh, a widget that will generate, based on your criterion, uh, new blog posts that are the most popular on your website. You want to showcase them and drive even more traffic to them. So for example, when someone reads your blog post and they will see that there are other popular uh, blog posts on your blog uh, that uh, he might want to read. Because of course you, you have a website around the specific topic and so they will be related some way or another. So this also helps to keep your visitors on your website and that of course increases the chances of the visitor to signing up to your email list. And of course again there are plugins, they just enter uh, popular blog posts and you will find some plugins that are free for WordPress. And the third thing, now not a plugin, but when writing an article and you want to reference something that you have already written, put a link to that. Uh, take a look at Wikipedia. It has tons of pages and all they are interlinked between uh, just a single word uh, can be interlinked to another article if it's referencing that, uh, to find more information about that. And, we, and Google loves Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is a good example uh, for interlinking. So apply this thing to your blog. When you're writing something and you feel uh, that you don't want to uh, write the same thing that you have already written in a previous article, just uh, use interlinking and link to your article and this will drive more traffic uh, back and forth in your website. So these are the three things that will help you uh, to keep visitors on your website, to reduce bounce rate, uh, to increase uh, page views and of course to increase uh, the leads that you're generating on your website, which is the most important thing. Hope this video was helpful. If you would like more internet marketing tips, then make sure to sign up to my email newsletter by clicking the link in the description of this video.
thank you for watching and see you in the next video.